Hi there. Um, it's been a long time since I posted something. Um, there are reasons for that. One is this house that we've moved into um, has the worst internet ever, and so uploading stuff takes forever. But the other reason is I've been working on lots of silly little projects and teaching myself various skills and didn't really have very much to post. Um, but recently um, I came across a problem that I'm sure we've all come across which is what do we do when our collet holder um, outgrow, or rather our collet collection outgrows our collet holder. It's very frustrating because then we have sort of collets in boxes next to it. So the obvious thing to do, of course, is to build a new collet rack. And this is where my channel shines again because you are yet again about to learn from my mistakes. I did use um, materials that were available to me but shall we say that my design skills may have led me slightly astray? Um, and this is what I made. Now, I've always, I have a friend who has a Perspex collet holder, which I particularly like. And so I like the idea of making a Perspex uh, collet hold rack. And this one will clearly last for um, quite a while since there are a lot more collets here than I own. However, what on earth made me turn these kind of little brass filials. Um, it seemed like a good idea at the time. It was a way of, of, of sort of experimenting with my hand engraver skills. And I managed to make all four of them pretty similar. So I was pleased with that. But when I put the whole thing together, it looked like something that belongs in a sort of thousand and one nights or certainly not in a gentleman's workshop. So anyway, um, if I put the collet in, um, I thought it might help it and make it look a bit more workshop-like, but it still looks like something that belongs elsewhere. Anyway, I just wanted to share that, you know, think about materials when you build something. And um, I mean, it's functional, it'll work, but um, I don't know, a word to the wise maybe.